بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ہیو این ادر نیو ویڈیو آف سی پروگرامنگ لینگویج اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دیٹ ہاؤ کوڈ وی یوز پرنٹ ایف اینڈ اسکین ایف اسٹیٹمنٹ آف سی لینگویج اینڈ بائی یوزنگ پرنٹ ایف اینڈ اسکین ایف وی ول ٹیک ان پٹ ٹو نمبرس so let's see what we have in this video that is c language program and the question is write a program that take input to integers and calculate their sum and average so this one is question or required so we have to take input to integers values and after that we will calculate the sum of those two integers and average of those two numbers that that are integers so let's move towards the c language ide okay students now we are here in c language ide you can see we are here in c language ID and there are different icons or shortcuts that are applicable in C language programming for example cut paste uh, undo cut paste copy and so on and there are different other uh, icons that are used in C language compiling process for complete compile the file and for running the file we will use this icon or we can use alter f9 key from the keyboards so let's start our program first of all you can see some uh, functions and statements are same in each and every program we can see there is a include preprocessor directive as we have discussed in the previous classes that there is a channel sign or number include stdio header file and after that we will include conio.h header file and after that you will write wide man small bracket and after that curly bracket and after curly bracket there is a phrase that you have to initialize or you have to declare variables for example we are going to use variable that type is integer and the variable name is n1 and the other variable name is n2 and semicolon that means we have declared our value uh, variables and after that you want to declare another one so you can use a comma between them for example we are going to use another very variable that is sum s u m sum so our integer variable has been declared now and after that we will calculate the average of these two numbers so average could become in the point so we will take another variable type that is float we have discussed float can store decimal values so float the variable name is average a b e r a t e students never forget that whenever you are declaring variable so you have to keep in mind if the variable name is in a small letter so you will use those small letters everywhere in your program if variable name is start with a capital letter so you will use that name everywhere in your program otherwise the c language will give you error so our next variable is uh, float and type is float and name is average semicolon that is declared now and after that i will use I statement print f print f after that small bracket inverted comma and you will use I escape sequence that we have discussed in the classes slash n for the next line slash n and you can give a message for the user enter first number after that inverted comma close then a small bracket then semicolon and after that you will use the out uh, uh, input statement print f is output statement and the scan f is 
स्कीन एफ इज इन स्टेटमेंट स्कीन एफ एंड आफ्टर दैट inverted comma and then you will use format specifier for example you are going to take input in integer variable so for integer we will use percentage b inverted comma close after that you have to mention the variable name with n percent sign means end sign that is called n percent that is end sign available on the keyboard end sign and after that you have to mention which variable you are going to take input in n1 after that you have to close semicolon one statement block of statement is completed and first statement will take in a give message on the screen and other one is take input that is scan after same process you have to take input in second number print f small bracket in what it comma Slash and for next line escape sequence. After that, enter second number. Then again, inverted comma close, small bracket close, then semicolon. And again, you will use scanf. Scanf. After that, you will use. What it comma then format specifier for percentage D for integer then comma m percent means and sign and second variable name and so computer will take input and store in that place that is called at the soft or and sign or m percent sign semicolon after that we have completed two steps. First, we are going to take input in first number and after that second number. And now you will calculate, for example, sum is equal to n1 plus n2 and semicolon. So your sum will become in the sum variable, sum of n1 and n2. After that, average a v e r a g e variable name should be same as you have mentioned above. So here you will use the same name. Average is equal to sum divided by. There is a formula of average. If you have number of values, then calculate the sum and divided by the number of values. For example, you have two values. You will divide by two. If you have four values, you will divide by four. In this way, you can calculate the average. So average will come in the average formula. So now you want to print. The value of average, so you will use again print as output statement inverted comma, then again slash n, then you will write any message a b e r. Now you can use capital letter because inverted comma between you are using average of two numbers is equal to. Comma and here you want to print average a b e r a g e average inverted comma close and semicolon. There is one thing left that is called format specifier. Here you want to display the average value, so you will use percentage f is used for float variables. So our program has been completed, and in the end you have know that we will use get ch. In the end we will use get ch to stop the program. So our program has been completed now to take input two numbers. So if there is no error, so it will run smoothly and it will take input two variables. So I'm going to run that program. You will see it is running or compiling. Make fail means there is an error that is print f. You can see there is an error that is t is missing. So we will go on the line number eight comma nine. I want to show you that how the errors are coming. That's why the after the compiling there is an error or C language give an error message that is eight comma nine and ten comma nine. So I will click on the eight comma nine. So you see there is a mistake of print type statement. There is a T missing. Now it is complete. And again, again that is missing. 
on line number 10 that is f is missing print f now again you will remove the error and again compile if there is no error so your program is running you can see the message is coming on the screen enter first number for example i will write four and you will press enter key. then again enter second number for example again i will write five and four plus five is nine that is very simple that's i want to show you that i am giving very simple number four and our second number is five then you will see the computer will give you the average of two numbers that is two computer will add four plus five that will be nine and it will divide by two so your average will come on the screen you can see and there is a decimal point is given because we have taken float variable so students i hope that you have understood that how could you take input different integer value in c language in this way you can calculate the average of two numbers then sum of two numbers three numbers four numbers you can increase the numbers and you can take input and you can make a very book, big program or calculator program by taking many values so in the next uh, video we will come with another new c language program so until that allah office i'm going to signing out